Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and lifelong astrologer, um, a professional astrologer, so pretty much what that means is I just spend the majority of my life studying and practicing astrology, and that's what it is that I do here. I post my predictions for you guys weekly on my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today about the dark side of manifestation, the dark side of setting intention. And this is because at this moment in my life, I am in it. And I wanted to talk to you about it openly and candidly, what you can expect and how you can, I don't want to say avoid it, but learn to work with it. Because this is something that if you are about setting intention, if you're about that intention setting life, if you're about that manifestation life, this is something that you are inevitably going to confront at some point along your journey. And also um, with my fixed candles, with my intention setting oils, this is one of the questions that I get asked a lot, probably more than you would think. Um, and I wanted to kind of explain that here. What happens? Well, the question is like, Jess, what if I am not ready to set intention? What if I set intention? And it's not exactly what it is that I want or what happens when I do set intention? One of the top fears that people have, that they don't even realize that they have is this fear of success. And that means that what happens when they do get exactly what it is that they've been wishing to receive? What then? What if they're not happy with it? What if they don't like it? What if it requires a lot? So we're going to talk about all of that. And that leads me to my next point. Like, what is the dark side of setting attention? What is the dark side of manifestation? And basically, it's not evil. It's not dark in the sense that it is bad or that we should avoid it. It's just something that we want to confront. It's something that can, I don't want to say brings problems, but it cr creates its own obstacle, creates its own challenge. And that's kind of currently where I'm at right now. So for those of you guys that don't know, I'm looking down at my camera looking down on my phone right now because I have to put on Do Not Disturb. But for those of you guys that don't know, I set intention for myself all the time. I am constantly working with the universe. I am constantly working with my angels, my guides, and the divine in order to co-create with them the life of my dreams. Every time that I set intention, I manifest exactly what it is that I'm pretty much exactly what it is that I um, am putting out there into the universe. And m more very often, I come into this dark side of manifestation that we're going to be talking about today that I want to share with you guys. And basically what that is, is that moment where you manifest exactly what it is that you want. And when you get it, it comes with some type of trouble. Not all the time, but it comes with a certain challenge. And some people, they'll look at that and they'll be like, I did something wrong or, you know, I, I don't even want to set intention because this is going, to, I'm going to have to deal with this certain thing. For example, I have two perfect examples. I'm in the middle of a move right now and I actually manifested this move. It was perfect. I have no regrets, zero regrets. It's been healthy. It's been happy. It's helped me to thrive. I let go of one aspect of my life that was there to teach me a lesson that I could see um, you know, in the chart with divine timing, I could feel it within my spirit because of divine timing. So I co-created with the universe and put that intention out there. And then I moved. I moved into this apartment. I love it. Everything about this community is everything that it was that I never knew that I needed at this point of my life. And here it is. It was easy. It was effortless. The timing was insane, insanely good, delicious. The timing was delicious is what I'm going to call it. And then this apartment had some kind of like issues with it. And, but, and it's so interesting because as I moved into this apartment, I was getting visions of me moving in a different way, like being in the same spot, but just moving different. And from that, I was like, okay, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. And for those of you guys who are like, Jess, get to the point. I am. But I like to give you guys examples. I'm a Virgo. You know I'm thorough AF. So I'm. That's just my explanation of this right now. So I'm in this happy space, but I'm like, I'm really happy to be here, but there's some things that I, you know, I like, and there's some things that I don't like, and there's certain things that are happening, and it could be better. And that's where the dark side of manifestation comes is, well, one of the first dark sides of manifestation is this idea that I, that you set intention and you are you have this almost sense of feeling of guilt that if this is something that you set intention for, that you should just kind of settle in that space. When the reality is, is that your life is an ongoing journey. It's an ongoing process. And once you get into that space in your life and you kind of see like, okay, live and you learn, I kind of 
would like to have this, you know, a little different, or I would have this window adjusted elsewhere, it is okay for you to co continue to co-create with the universe and continue to co-create with your guides this next level of your reality. There is nothing wrong with that. There's this mindset sometimes that says, um, you know, we shouldn't ask for more than God has given us. And that is absolutely accurate. We should always have gratitude for what the divine, for what the universe, what God gives us. Um, and what we co-create with God, what, you know, what the divine places within our heart to ask for. We, we should have gratitude for wherever we're at, but it's okay to ask for more. It's okay to evolve. It's okay for your needs and your desires to shift. And it's okay to communicate that with your universe, with the universe, with the divine, with whoever. Okay, so that's the one of the dark sides of manifestation is that guilt that comes, that shame that people have, which it's like, okay, well, I already asked for this. Am I asking for too much? No, it's an ongoing relationship. It's constantly expressing your needs and having an open communication and open relationship, honest relationship with the universe, with the divine from the reality that it, that it is that you're constantly co-creating. The next dark side of manifestation is when you actually manifest that thing. That's where I'm at right now. So I moved into my apartment. I settled in. I'm, it's happily ever after for the most part. But then I start realizing that what it was that I thought that I wanted when I moved in here, it, I, it got me to the right place. But I didn't. Re but now being in this spot, I'm realizing that there is a lot. The world is my oyster and that I don't have to settle in this one space. And I started actively communicating with the divine, started actively communicating with the universe once again. And I'm just like, listen, I'm so happy to be here. But now that I'm here, I'm kind of experiencing this type of trouble and issue, which is minor. But I don't feel like I should ever settle. And I, I firmly believe that the universe doesn't want me to settle. So I started expressing that. And as I started expressing it, I started experiencing certain things that were like, okay, you know, this could be better. And certain things that were actually kind of setting me up for an easy transition into the next space. Um, and I don't want to talk about it in full detail just because of privacy issues. You guys know I'm a pretty private person when it comes to the, the more intimate details of my personal life. Um, but it wasn't anything crazy or serious, but, um, certain things, like, honestly, it felt like the universe was kind of setting it up so that I didn't have to struggle with my transition out of where I'm at currently. And what ended up happening was, um... Because of that, you know, the, and another apartment, another unit opened up for me that was way better in all the ways, way better than the one that I'm currently in, the one that I'm currently moving out of as we speak. The, the time that it is that I'm filming this video, it's, I'm literally in the middle of a move. Like, you guys can't see it, but I have boxes in the living room, I have boxes in the kitchen, in my bathroom, in my, lip, in my closet, because I'm currently transitioning out of something that is that I manifested and the very thing that is I'm talking to you guys about today which is the dark side of manifestation the dark side of setting intention and those things manifesting so the dark side of this is is that feeling of you know mm -hmm. when I manifest it what if I'm not entirely happy what then um, another thing that I can say with this is people when they manifest certain relationships this is something that I get asked and almost scoffed at actually. Um, people that when I share the details of my romantic life, they'll be like, well, Jess, you know, we, you, we know you as someone who wants children and wants marriage. Why haven't you manifested that already? And the reality is, is like, you don't know the details of what it is that I'm co- creating with the universe right now. There are certain obstacles that I have to defeat within myself. There are certain barriers that I was born into that I am co-creating with the universe and listening to my vibes and listening to what the divine, what God is telling me, what God is speaking to me and saying, like, Jess, this is something that you struggle with. So before we get to that point, we want to make sure that, especially if you want a healthy, happy, long-lasting marriage, you have to, and you want to be a good mother, um, what you would deem as a good mother would make it more easier if you heal these aspects of yourself. Go ahead and ask for these things first before we get to that final that final destination. And that is the dark side, the quote unquote, the dark side, the honest shadow side of manifesting. It's about honestly assessing where you're at, what you want. Some of a lot of people when they are manifesting, when they're setting intention, they want to jump right to the finish line. And the reality is, is that if the universe does put you, pick you up and place you right at that finish line, 
a lot of you would actually probably crumble because you don't have the internal um, tools and resources and mind um, emotional like maturity sometimes in, in some way in order to take care of the very thing that is that you are working towards manifesting this final destination that you're headed towards. So it's almost like these baby steps. And the universe and the divine, I believe, looks out for you. I believe that without a fraction of a doubt. The universe looks out for you so much that it will never give you anything that will make you crumble. So when you are co-creating with the universe, when you are setting intention and these, you'll manifest certain things, but it's not the complete picture. And you're just like, well, why didn't that relationship last? Why didn't this happen? Why did this happen? Well, it's because you had to learn. You had to go through that and and master it before you could actually get to that finish, that final that final destination that whatever it is that you see for yourself and honestly that goes back to the first thing that it was I said before that you know don't feel like you're settling like you don't don't feel like you have to settle when you do set intention once you manifest that thing that relationship that job it is okay for you to evolve within that you are going to evolve as human beings we are always evolving look at anything that is living and you will see that there is a cycle to it. So it's important that you develop that relationship with the universe, that you develop that relationship with your guides, and you don't look at that as failure. That you know that, one, the, yes, the universe got you there. Yes, you co-created with the universe. Yes, you set intention, and that's what it is that you manifested. But even then, you're not meant to just sit in that space and just be like, okay, that's it. No, it's going to evolve. You want to continue to set intention. You want to continue to be open to the growing process and learning about yourself. Because I believe, again, I believe that the universe has so much in store for us. There's so We live in an abundant universe, and there's so much for us to receive, for us to experience. And it's it, you're supposed to get excited for your life. You're supposed to get set new goals for yourself. You're supposed to hit new records. You're supposed to experience different things. And once you experience that, that's not it. It doesn't just end there. You evolve, you learn, you grow, and you set more intentions. There's one last note that it is that I wrote down, and I put it on my phone as I was packing. Um, oh, <laughs> I wrote down, okay, the dark side of manifestation. Um, be prepared for all that comes with that. Okay, this is the darkest thing I can think. And by dark, I don't mean bad or evil or anything like that, but it's just a challenge. Um... You are a human being, okay? So when you are manifesting, you have to know, in order to manifest successfully and comfortably and healthy, you have to know to some degree, to some level, who you are, what you're capable of, what your strengths and your weaknesses are. And if you don't, you'll just be manifesting any desire, any surface level desire that could be bad for you, that could create more good than evil. Or, I mean, create create more good or create more bad than good. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. I twisted that around. Um, and this is when people don't know themselves. They manifest from a very superficial level things that will quench their ego and not their purpose. Things that quench this um, image from a shadow aspect within themselves, they will set intention, they'll wait for it. Number one, the universe will protect you, but number two, there's you'll think in your brain and you'll convince yourself that this thing that you're manifesting, that it's there, it's good for you, and that the universe has it for you, but in reality, it's just a desire, it's just temptation. So you have to know yourself. When you do, and when you know yourself, your intention will change. You'll ask for things that you know and you will co-create things that you know are for your highest and greatest good that aren't going to hurt anyone, aren't going to harm anyone, especially yourself, and that are going to give healthy into your life. They're going to breathe life into you, not destruction. So you have to have a help, really healthy level of discernment and knowing who you are and knowing where you're at and knowing your limitations and knowing why you're asking for that specific thing. Okay, and that's let's and then once you pass that, once you actually manifest, when that thing actually manifests within your life, you have to realize that you're a human being. And a part of being human means that so much of you is perfectly imperfect. And that means that we all have obstacles. We all have things, challenges that is that we have to work within ourselves. None of us is perfect here, okay? And we have to realize that when you manifest a certain thing, you know, you are still a human being and you're not going to, you're going to react to certain things a, a different way. So you have to be ready 
for exactly what it is that you're manifesting. For example, let's say you guys are manifesting $150,000, right? That could be a blessing or it could be a curse. But because you're a human being, you and you're not perfect, you might not have the best spending habits. Um, you might get use that money and get yourself into a whole lot of trouble. So have a plan and also be flexible. Be flexible to learning, be flexible to growing, but also have a plan. So let's say you manifest all that money into your life and it does manifest. Some of you guys have a hard time manifesting large sums of money like that because you're like, that's impossible. So let's say you manifest $10,000, right? Which could happen in a week. I've done it myself. I think I have stories of how I manifest money on my uh, YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, $10,000, you know, was one of my favorite manifestation stories because it's just such an awesome story. But I did not spend that money on bullshit. I put it into a savings and I use it to help me to propel myself into more stability, more security, more structure, which ultimately, you know, was my business. And I just spent it really wisely, you know, so and not in a way that would add to my self-destruction in any way, shape or form. So the, the reason why I'm saying that, you guys, is that that is the darkest side of manifestation is that you are going to be a human being. So when you do manifest things, make sure that you have the resources and that you're prepared to receive it. We talk about that a lot in Law of Attraction. We talk about that a lot in the spiritual community and setting intentions and blah, blah, blah. But that is not just you mentally preparing it. It's you physically preparing. For example, this move that I'm in right now, okay? I knew that it, when I manifested this move and when it started manifesting that I would need to free up the time and the space and to get the resources in order to help my business um, and the orders that I reserved, I pretty much had them already done, completed so that I can move on to my next task, task in my personal life, which is doing my move. So yes, I manifested the apartment. I don't say the apartment of my dreams because my dream is not to stay in an apartment forever. I actually want to be a homeowner but the reality is, is that I don't know what that home looks like yet I don't know I'm not setting intention for it because I don't know exactly what that looks like I'm waiting for you know enlightenment I'm waiting for you know that next conversation that I'll have with with God the universe the divine um so for right now this is everything like I'm exactly where I need to be and there's certain uh things in my personal life that I want to have cemented first before I buy a home but so you know, I manifested this next level for me in my apartment, in my living space, in my workspace, and how I create and my comfortability here. It's very important that I'm comfortable, um, and I like what my apartment looks like, what my home looks like, because I work from home, I live from home, I do my intentions and candles and all that other stuff, and I want it to be safe. I want it to feel sacred. It ha all those things are very they're non negotiables for me, but. Put all that aside, you know, when I set intention, I knew that, okay, I'm going to have to have the movers, I'm going to have the move, and then it opens up a whole headache, so to speak, or challenges when it comes to finding the right moving company, putting out the time, packing things up, moving things, and then that rest period that happens afterwards, you know, that's kind of like the shadow side, that's the dark side of it, and it's not dark at all, it's not dark at all, it's just being prepared, it's more than being mentally open to receiving, it's about physically preparing for it, when I spoke to the universe and I said, okay, this is, I do like it here, don't get me wrong, I do like it here, but I need, I think I'm needing this type of space in order to create better, the, the universe says, all right, Jess, you know, I hear you, and that's good and right with me, so let's go ahead and put these things into motion in order to help you to ease out of that. Thanks for communicating, and I'm like, good looking out. Thanks for being open to listening to me, right? So then the next wave is, uh, okay, I put, it, I put it out there. I set intention for exactly what it is that I wanted. I wanted it to be easy and effortless, <laughs> and then I started physically preparing, getting rid of certain things that I don't want to carry into my new space. Um, blocking out the time so I'm not having to cancel appointments, um, reading appointments for my clients, astrology reading appointments, or you know those types of things. Um, reserving the 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 uh, creating enough space, enough booking for that I can serve my clients for their fixed candles or for their oils, so they can set their own intentions, so they can manifest their own dreams without overbooking myself, without with still honoring you know shipping time constraints. Um, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all those things were prepared for where it is that I'm at right now, and now that I'm in where I'm at, 
we're moving on to the next wave. So I'm saying all this to say, not to flex, not to scare anyone, but just to be honest, to have an open conversation with you guys about what you can expect um, when it comes to setting intention, when it comes to manifesting, the dark side of it. I know some of you guys are so afraid, which leads me to the, my very last point, that there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to setting intention. Um, you do not have to be locked into anything. Once you do manifest whatever it is that you're manif trying to manifest when it comes into your life, you can say, all right, lived, I learned, I don't know if I necessarily want this. I don't know if this is exactly what it is that I, you know, I, and because of that experience, because of what it is that you set intention for, you learn from you about it. You learn about yourself. You learn about your wants, your needs, your desires. And from that, you can set intention smartly, wisely. For some of you guys, you want to take a break from setting intention. I took a whole year off from setting intention for the most part when I was in New Orleans. Um, I, I was not manifesting anything. I was pr pretty happy with where I was at. I knew that I had some major lessons to learn from my life. Um, and generational curses that it was that, that I was working on, and I was focusing on that. And it wasn't until the very end of my journey in New Orleans, and I hope to go back, but we'll see how that how that happens. Again, I, I don't have a clear vision right now exactly where I want to be. Um, and the world is my oyster. I can go wherever. I'm not confined to any one thing. Um, but yeah, when I was at the very end of my journey, I was like, okay, this is where I want to be. This is where I see myself. And within a weekend, you guys. Well, it wasn't a weekend. It was a week. <laughs> it was a week. Um, and the timing was everything. And I believe that the universe, the divine, if you're in, connect to your intuition, you'll know when the time is right. You'll know when the vision is clear. And you unapologetically put it out there. And it will pick you up and put you right down, put, place you in the right place at the right time. Nothing is literally out of your limits. No, not a person, not a set of money in your bank account, not a way that you look, a way that you feel, a living, nothing is out of your limits. The only thing that limits you always and forever is you. And you have to know, you know, be honest with yourself and then put it out there and believe and then prepare. And when you prepare, that's a part of you like physically preparing for the receiving aspect of it. So when you guys set intention, don't feel guilty or bad of, you know, what if I don't like it? You don't have to stay in that space forever. I believe so firmly, like the universe is so accommodating. It's so forgiving. It's so compassionate. And it will just adjust. It will say, all right, you tried it. You didn't like it. It's not a fail. It's just like, okay, try this then. Like, well, what is it that you want? Do you know? I'll wait until you know. Put it out there. Get your candle. Set intention. Pray about it. Whatever it is that works for you. This is a non-denominational channel. So whatever it is that works for you guys, honor that and whatever method works for you and then manifest and have gratitude for whatever it is that you're manifesting. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have to go finish packing because the movers are coming mad early tomorrow morning and I need to get like a few things packed up and I want to be super organized for so that I can pick up and continue shipping out. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend here, so it was just, again, perfect timing. Like, everything is perfect. That's the, just mind-blowing, but it's Memorial Day weekend, so everything was closed anyways, and it just feels like sometimes that the world accommodates for me, and I believe that, that it will happen for you, that the day, the, the days that you pick, everything arranges is itself in a way that is easy and effortless when you know how to flow, to, and that's exactly where I'm at right now. So this is the last day of me packing and then unpacking. I have help, and we're going to go right back into shipping out those orders. The post offices were closed anyways. Um, the post office is picking up, or the courier service is picking up, those of you guys that um, reserve the Gemini oils. Um, and just as I'm saying this, someone just texted me like, hey, Jess, I can help you. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. But, um, yeah, for those of you guys that reserve the Gemini new moon, new moon oils, it's perfect. Perfect timing. Um, they're going to be picking them up shortly and then shipping them out. So you'll be seeing that. Um, and then I'll get back to wrapping the fixed candles for those of you guys that reserved it. All of the details for all of these things are available in my shop. Um, the apothecary readings are closed for the, rema the remainder of this year. I did that on purpose. I saw it a year ahead that this was going to be a year of just total quiet, of total 
you know, being still, not forcing anything, and coronavirus. So it's literally the timing is everything. I can see it within the chart. I can feel it in my spirit. It was confirmed to me by the divine. So I'm not accepting any clients when it comes to readings or anything like that. I know that a lot of you guys are feeling like you're having an emergency, but the most important thing right now is for you guys to be still, for you to be steady, and to not expect, you know, to just blast out of a certain space. You really have to be in a space of flowing, um, and you will be taken exactly where you need to go. And if until then, it'll carry you to the point when I do reopen up for readings, and then I'll be accepting clients, and I can give you additional clarity. But until then, make sure that you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll let you guys know when appointment times are booking up. There are some clients that I've accepted throughout this time, but they were unique clients and unique situations. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on more specific intentions and stuff like that so you guys can co-create on your own on your own terms until then i'm sending you guys all my love thank you guys so much for being patient with me with the youtube videos lately there's been a lot of things going on um i'm not posting as often but i do post every week which is still a lot but until then i'll see you guys in my next video make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and i'll see you soon bye